Well, well, well. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Sleepy, Sleepy, Tired Stories. Now, if you're thinking that sounds like a stupid idea, here's the thing. College is a thing, and I'm so tired, so sleepy, but I still want to make videos, so that's what you get. <laughs> so, gather up, everybody, and let's listen to it. Wait. Of course, drinking water, as always, healthy. It's like really good for you. Also, this is not, I'm not the, it's not the flip. It just scribbles, that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, so, today's story is a story about a dead body. Someone who died, murdered, committed suicide. No one knows, but there is a dead body somewhere. And in that same place, someone just disposed of a half-made robot that has AI installed in it. And this AI realized that it's gonna die. The power is running out, there is nothing, there is only that dead body around. So, it used its last energy to insert itself in the brain of that dead body. Now, weirdly enough, even though the body is completely dead, nothing is working, no brain, nothing inside is functioning dead, there is still bits and bits of that person's consciousness yes so this AI started merging with this person's consciousness so we got a broken consciousness with broken memories and an AI that is not even fully finished merged together the AI does not understand anything it has no goal it has no purpose and the dead body is a dead body no goal, no purpose. But for some reason, that AI... No, it, it became a cyborg actually now. This cyborg is really interested in knowing what happened. Who made it? Why did they make him? What happened to the body? Who killed it? Why did it die? It didn't know, but it was curious. And for an AI, for an artificial intelligence, that was very... Wait. I feel like I'm timing this correctly, right? Okay, good. I'm so sleepy. Possibly on drugs. Scratch that. Um, <laughs> so, this AI is extremely interested, curious, intrigued about what is it like to be a human. Since he is now he. Hmm. Way to genderize. Not sure, should we go with a he? Fine, it's a he. I write the story, I make the rules, fight me. Anyway, so he realized, I can think, I've always been able to, but I used to have a purpose that I don't remember. So, what's the difference? What's the difference between this body, dead body, this deteriorating dead body that is being possessed by an artificial intelligence and a normal human being. Well, there's one difference, the smell, because again, a deteriorating, a deteriorating body means like it's just dying, flesh is falling off, so that's pretty obvious, it's like a zombie. But instead of being like a stupid infection, it's an artificial intelligence that is curious that's experiencing for the first time what is it like to be a human. And that's the story. Did it make sense? I don't know. Because you know what? I came up with half of it right now on the spot. Why am I, why am I making this video? I don't know. Blame her. <laughs> I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. I just want to play video games. But I'm so, I just want to make videos. I don't know why. I just... Mm, yeah. That's Sarah's fault. <laughs> So, how did you like this story? Do you want part two <laughs> about this AI that's possessing a dead body? You know what? Let's scratch that it's a deteriorating dead body. Let's make it that this dead body, uh, or no, this AI has 
the ability to control the brain so the fun human the body functions started to go again so it became a normal living body instead of having a normal consciousness like all of us it has an AI question of the day what's the difference what's the difference between something that's possessed by an inhumane sentient being and between human what is a human what is the purpose what's the point what is anything these are the thoughts that I've been thinking about for like the past couple hours so I decided the house is quiet can you hear that silence yes The first world time tip. Good job, me. I left myself hanging. Anyway, so tell me, I'm interested to know what do anyone think of an AI possessing a body and making it work, and is curious about what's it like being a human, and between a normal human that's just curious about what's like being a human. Is there any difference at all? How do we know that anything is real? How do we know that we're not? Characters played by something. How do we know that we're not the live action adaptation of a divine novel? How do we know anything? What is real? I don't know. Here you go. That was that was less of a sleepy story and more of a my brain is, doesn't want to shut up and I just can't sleep. So here it is, YouTube. That was my. Kobe, my throat hurts. Also, I had this cup full of water. It was down, and while I was thinking about making this video, I was walking around. That's what I do when I think I walk in circles. So I spilled it, and I have a pool of water in front of me. So what did I do? I refilled it and started filming. Water is healthy. It's healthy for the ground, healthy for the carpet, and healthy for you. And that was the wisdom of the day, the wise words of the great Venma who is extremely sleepy and possibly on drugs. Again, scratch that. I don't do drugs. Drugs do me. <laughs> I'm out. I don't know what's this. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna call this mind split. Mind spill, mind spill, mind spill, mind spill, nine, okay, I'm stopping, bye, how can I, alright, oh, also, this is my new iPhone, what do you think, I'm recording on HD 60fps, I can go 4K 60fps, but that's too much, HD is what I want, like, okay, bye, this time it's real, mug,